Hello everyone and welcome to WG Master. I'm Andrew Longside. What's up? Oh, and here's that swagger coming out. Hopefully. Yeah, wait, my head did be arsy. So, this is a uh, lion, I guess. Maybe an explanation why they took out the big show after his match. Well, I've already got an explanation myself, but I'll keep that to myself. I'll let them speak their own words. I'm interested in seeing why they did it. To be honest, I don't think Big Show could compete with how much burgers he's been eating lately. Yep, I have. Now Swagger, he was blocking the spotlight. It's just because he's so fat, he was in the way of it. Whoa! Harry. Wait a minute. Harry Funk. There is oh, no way that Teddy is going to be able to beat him. There's no way that Funk's going to be able to beat Ted. Are you serious? Yes, I mean... What is he, like 80 years old now? He's a living legend. Ted's... More like the living dead legend. I don't even know how to use a chair anymore. Well, Funk has a lot more experience than DBRC. But DBRC is a lot younger, and when you get old, you get stiff. So that is what she said. Get her ever said that. But I think that Funk's experience is going to prevail over DBS's lack of experience. Let's just see how it plays out. See Pathy to the back. And you've got and you've got a thing. Swagger being in DBS's corner, that could uh, have an effect on this match as well. This likely will distract Funk. But you know, if the referee goes down... Wait a minute, cover. One. Oh, one count. Because wouldn't expect anything more than a one count. Harry Funk had to remember how to do moves, that's good. Look at this. I mean, that power. Another there cover. again, one. And another one count. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, vicious need to face. Terry Funk. And another counter. Is this going to be Power Slam the Mania? DBFC is just seemingly completely dominating Funk. Funk, believe me now. Funk is getting a few moves in, but not able to capitalize. See, Teddy Biasi, being young, he's still able. Terry Funk, when you get older, you you lose your strength, and that's what's happened to Funk. Either that, or DBS is more impressive than we first thought. 
And another power slam! One. Oh no. So close to a two count. Maybe Terry Funk will manage to pull up a fluke win, but I highly doubt that. And DBSC to the top rope. Um, watch the Did that actually do anything to anyone? I guess it made contact. And Funk starting to get the better of DBSC. If Funk wants to get the win, he needs to take his time. Hit slow, pop up powerful move. Wait a minute. What? <sighs> what I was saying, he would need to take his time, hit slow but powerful moves on him, take the energy out of Debiasi, and manage to hit his finisher. But by the looks of it, that's not going to happen since Debiasi is just taking full control. That was enough. And um, plus. Funk is just taunting with his back to stood up DBS a few moments ago. When wait a minute. He's trying to lock it up. Yeah. Dream three. It's done. Stick a fork in it. Somebody call a fat lady. One, two, three. Surprisingly, well, surprisingly to me anyway, GBS you beat Funk. That was obvious. But how much momentum does that bring beating a living legend? Living dead legend. I was sure that Funk was going to beat Dibiase. I'm looking forward to seeing what Dibiase and Swag will find in the future. I mean, he's a baby. Been highly <laughs> successful so far. They maybe even one day grab the tag team titles. I hope not. Although they certainly could do it. Well. That's for future to decide. Let's let him have his moment of glory. Oh, he's deserved it. Congratulations, you have defeated a nine-year-old man. Oh, oh Mr. Robinson. Whoa. Did he get his title engraved into his t-shirt? I want that t-shirt. <laughs> Is there any way I could run backstage right now and get it? I mean... Well, I'm sure that Anderson would not allow you to just rip the shirt off him. Well, I'll take him out first. I know that's really disrespectful, but, you know... Oh, Jimmy Superfly hey. Snooker. What's he wanting? This guy. Okay, we're in the first ten minutes of the show and there's already two dead men here. Oh, Jimmy Superfly Snooker versus the Intercontinental Champion, Mr. Anderson, in a non-title match late on. And if Snooker wins, he'll have an Intercontinental Championship match at Smashing Point. Oh boy, this guy. You know, I usually like people to take advantages of what they've got, but this guy's just a tool. The guy who, according to Mr. Anderson, just looks at his hair. Which he does, and makes a complete fool of himself. Look what he's got on his hands. What the hell is that? Well, he has been successful so far in his WG career. Managed to success pick up a few successful wins. Successful on a horrible fashion sense. Well... Being successful is more important than having a decent fashion sense. 
I'm not going to be surprised if he comes out here next week wearing a tutu. And uh, Rey Mysterio. Mr. Taco Bell. Oh, I have a technique in mind that Dolph Ziggler might be able to use. He could get a taco, throw it out of the ring, where Mysterio would chase it, because you know he loves tacos, and get him counted out. What do you think? I'll take that as a yes. Mm. Matchup gonna start here. I honestly don't care who wins. But if it's in competition for Anderson's title, they're trying to impress him, you know what? Fair enough. Managing to impress me a tiny bit here. But uh, I don't care. Anyway, I'm back. Where did you just go grab a taco to give the Dolph Ziggler? Did I just explain the technique and you ran away? Jeez, no respect for this commentary. Oh. Vince McMahon should duck to your paycheck. <laughs> So what's happened to sign this matchup? Nothing that I care about. Seeing as you when you care about yourself. I care about people that win. So yes, I do care about myself. Well both of these men have won a few matches. Careful. Ugh. <sighs> Okay. Roman's carry. I'm gonna see if I can... If Dolph Ziggler comes over to the commentary booth, I'll pass him a taco. Maybe he can use it. Do you ever think of any techniques that are actually any good? Yes, yeah. I came up with this... I came... Well, Cody Rhodes came up with it, but I announced it to the world. The spinning text. Stupid and stupider. The Cody spin and now the Mysterio Taco distraction. Hey, it won't only work on Mysterio. Work on any stupid little Mexican. No offense. 